Hey, what's up? Ian from Powerhouse Miniatures, how you doing? This is another Forge World showcase video for a Chaos Dwarf Sorcerer. So these ones you get in packs of three from Forge World. There's, uh, I've painted one of the others, and he has this cool, like, it's a cube that's on fire in his hand. It's quite badass, so it's like a, it might be a cube, something like that. It's, it's awesome, isn't it? It reminds me of like, the Dark Eldar one. But yeah, pack of three, Forge World, really cool. So this one, a little while ago I did a tutorial on my YouTube channel for uh, it was like wet blend in red in the end it was less of a wet blend more of a just sort of a like a two brush blend but uh, it's splitting hairs really I know, they're, uh, I know they are different but you know what I mean um, a similar sort of thing so I did it on the, on the head and you can just see um, like a really smooth little fade and then some like blue and purple shading in one side so if you click on my page then playlists then video miniature painting tutorials there's one there, it's called Wet Blending Reds, and there's another one on space red space marine armor as well, which is a similar sort of thing. Um, but more in sort of the I talk about it more in a the sort of the theory direction, if you know what I mean, where I was talking about the colours that I used and how I would physically apply the colours, the sort of brush techniques I'd use. Whereas this one I went for like the smooth effect. So for example, on on the top of the head on the sorcerer, if you just put a bit of gloss varnish on the top of that, um it would it would look awesome. You know, it's, it's super super smooth, and that's what you get from that technique. So again, if you're interested in that, there is a video in there, and I'm going to do some more video miniature painting tutorials. They just take a long time to produce and to think about and stuff like that. Um, quite a lot of effort, and at the moment I'm swamped with the commission stuff, so I'm only really doing these ones. But there you go. So Forge World Chaos Dwarf Sorcerer, really cool. So I'll give you a little little spin around. So we've got the uh, lava effect on the base. Some like blended red, and then it's a combination of just silvers and golds and uh, bronzes. Uh, the base, I did some. It's like Sotek green, turquoise, and then moot green a little bit, so you can just about see it on the base. Now, because the miniature's red, the armor's red. The uh, obviously there's lava, like the glowing effect that I left very red as opposed to like orange or yellow, kept it a lot darker to sort of. Uh, uh, to give more of like a subtle glow because you can do uh, overdo OSL really easily and obviously there's only a small part I'll talk about that in just a second but the uh, the green really offsets the red so they really contrast each other, it looks really cool and then the base just really pops because of that and it's, it's really really simple it's actually quite a bright green so you can see in, in this part here and just on the inside of the base it's like a cyber bright green or like maybe a warp stone glow, I forget which one I used um, but yeah, like the, the green there really really makes it stand out and it looks like a sort of a grimy sort of a thing but Again, just messing around with turquoise colours. So there he is. Uh, yeah, so I was going to say about the OSL, there's just a slight p a little, little bit on the underside of the arm. Oop. Just there. And you can just see I've just glazed a bit of red in. But otherwise, I think people can really, you can really overdo it. Um. And OSL can look kind of garish. It's one of them things, you know, when you first get an airbrush, and you're like, right, I'll try it out. <laughs> so there you are. Right, so this this for sale at the minute. So, well, I'm recording these videos at least at some point in the future, obviously. So I will put a link in the description of the video if the miniature is still for sale. And there's a load of HD pictures on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash powerhouse miniatures. And that is it. So cheers for watching. Have a good one.